Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out here on the launch pad with our uh, Mars map set on top of this RA9 rocket and uh, we are losing our relative inclination so we're just going to go ahead and fire up these engines now. Light is good, clamps are off and we are on our way. Uh, this is the MAPSAT-1, one, uh, one of two that we're going to be sending to Mars in conjunction with a pair of landers that we uh, hope to get at least one down on the surface. Uh, knowing my flight record, it will be hopefully at least one, maybe zero. But uh, this mission's primary focus is to do a low-resolution scan of Mars, and should there be enough Delta V on the left of the tank, should the transfer gods smile upon us, then uh, we're going to try to do quick flybys of Phobos and Deimos, and hopefully it will spend the rest of its days acting as a communications relay for anything else that we should send to Mars, eliminating the need to have these uh, long-range high-gain antennas included also. So, uh, barring anything interesting happening, we're going to speed this footage up, and I will be seeing all of you in orbit. Alright, we are not quite in orbit by any stretch of the means, but I neglected to take into account a bunch of other things, and our Apogee is up at 404 kilometers. We've got about 10 minutes until we get there. Um, shit, are we going to have connection? I'm thinking we will through these sites here. Just in case, we're going to plot a maneuver so we can have MechJeb execute it for us. To get us circularized, there it is. Get ourselves out of the map view. All right, it's telling us that burn will take 10 minutes. I am in linear mode. Only 451.9 meters per second to do that. That, uh, it's not bad. Yeah, I, if I do say so. Okay, so let's uh, warp on up. No connection. Damn it. Okay, we are... Uh, okay, now we have connection. Good on you, boy. Alright. Ullage. Very stable. And we'll just... I mean, we can knock it out. It's not the most efficient. But uh, then again, neither is correcting out that high because of the overth effect, etc. 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 So we're just going to go ahead and ride this through. All right, and we'll just call that shut down. 469 by 358. Not the greatest. But, uh, it's pretty good. And we'll fire up our instrumentation here. I guess. Is that not working? There we go. That's a magnetometer scan. I thought I did one on the RPS. Log. All right, we've got that too. Good, good, good. All right. Now the fun part, transfer burn. So we need to zoom way the hell out find our good friend Mars, set his target. Wow, we got a lot of just junk, 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 junk floating around. Uh, yeah, 
Oh man, he's so close. He's gonna be there in like days. So we need to do this real fast. Alright, uh, McJib. Uh, maneuver planner, please. Uh, where are you? Yes. And let's kick it around. It was still to be. It says our duration is departure in two years. Anytime now for 5.2. I'm fairly certain we've got that in the bank. Let's create the node. God, why is it saying we don't have to leave for... Yeah, well, in 70 days we do for... Uh, the discrepancies between Kerbal Alarm Clock and Mechjeb's Maneuver Planner are really starting to get on my nerves. So let's get ourselves pointed at said node. It is in 47 minutes. Estimated burn time is about 12. We are going to lose some hydrogen from our RL10 stage. I'm going to watch it bleed off. There it is. Going down by about a liter per second. Striking, considering this is actually a cryogenic tank. Uh, I did not leave buffer room for that, did I? No, I did not. So, our total delta V is decreasing with every second. So we're going to lose a good chunk on waiting for this maneuver node. But I'm, I'm certain we have it between these two stages. We just might have to consider the possibility of an arrow break. Which is not at all what any of this was designed to do. Alright. And come on, come on. And here I thought we were doing really well because we had so much left in these tanks after we uh, circularized our orbit. Apparently not. There's some pretty eye candies for you. Man, that is very, very, very off our prograde vector. At least it will be when it comes time to do this burn. We're going to start it off just a bit early, because there will be a staging event in the middle of it. And we need to ullage. There we go. And for the sake of hoping to make up for some of this lost delta V, I'm going to stand here on the RCS pedal, try to get every little inch out of it. So, um, probably we'll be speeding this up, because this is ridiculously off-plane for us. Oh, real quick, radio check. It's analysis, plasma, okay good. The plasma wave and the magnetometer are all included. This doesn't have much in the way of scientific equipment on it anyway, because really it's just a, a mapping satellite. It's supposed to scan stuff, not do a lot of various uh, experiments like the lander is. So anyway, back to the fast forward that I promised you. Where did our clouds go? Can we just not see them because it's nighttime? It really doesn't look like it's cloud covery. There's still cities. I guess maybe these little specks over the, uh, looks like the south coast of Africa. I could be wrong. So very wrong. It's Australia. Eek, no wonder. All right, anyway. Back to the time warps. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I tinkered with the node because I noticed it wasn't quite where it was supposed to be and it messed absolutely everything up. So... I... I'm having a bit of a conscience crisis conscience here. We have not left Earth's sphere of influence yet, which is good. So I think as soon as these engines are done burning, I'm going to replot the node entirely.
any any second now. There they go. All right. Uh, Mac Jeb, you're killing me here, man. Maneuver planner. All right, 3167. That's a lot easier than what we were having. Gets us an encounter. We're going to go with that. Uh, burn is in 17 minutes. Not a problem. Uh, this whole thing has just gotten kind of mucked around. All right. That is so weird. Alright, I guess we don't really... Yeah, okay, let's unlock some tanks here. Get into staging mode before we waste too much fuel. Stage, ignition, and we're gone. Well, no, I would like to unlock those, please. What kind of delta do we have? 3,400. So, all of that nice fuel that we had in the tank to slow down when we got there is gone. We are left with no choice but to try some kind of aero brake, if we can. Or if we get super lucky, we can try to plot braking maneuvers by flying by Phobos or Deimos. Their gravity well is, well, insignificant to say the absolute least. This is going to become a very interesting mission. I have this feeling. But we're gonna go ahead and let this burn just happen. So uh, I will be speeding it up. I guess I'll see you guys on the tail end. Alright, 8 meters per second to kind of round out here. Uh, let's get us into the proper mode. There we go. And we'll just uh, rely on RCS for this. We have such an imbalance. Oh, did I pick the wrong mixture? Oh no. That's why our Delta V is so off. Well, that certainly is interesting. Well, this got, uh, this just got a whole lot more complicated. All right, come on, chase the node, chase the node. Well, let's, uh, we do not have an encounter. Why do we not have an encounter? Son of a bitch. This whole thing is just going wonky. The entire time. Ah, uh, come on. There is a counter. It's probably a really bad one, but it is an encounter. All right, should we bring up the maneuver planner? No, we should not bring up the maneuver planner. We should bring up the maneuver node editor. This is ridiculous. Okay, so we're not going to do any of that. 
we're going to have to plot another node after we're outside of the SOI of Earth and correct this bit of shenaniganry and hope that we can still put this little guy in an orbit. It's going to be a struggle, not going to lie. But um, not a whole lot we can do about it now. And hopefully the lander launches will go significantly better. But uh, I guess that's all we're going to have to wait until next episode. So uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I will see all of you tomorrow.